Hi everyone, welcome to today's video and welcome to my Feline Fridays. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. All right, we're gonna hop on into it. We are going to be exploring a British company today for all my British, all 11 of you out there. Um, we're gonna be exploring a British food today called Cat's Love. So let's head on over to their website. All right, so here we have the Cat's Love website. And actually I misspoke. You can, um, I guess, purchase this a lot of places in the EU. So Denmark, France, um, Italy, Spain, and so, um, all across the European Union, you can find Cats Love. It is also um, partnered with Dogs Love. So they have a dog version as well. But today for Feline Friday, we are doing cats. Um, the one we're going to be focusing on today is the senior recipe because this is the one that they have that falls into our parameters that we're looking for. The neat thing about um, Cats Love is you can actually order um, some sample packages. So that's kind of nice. So for one euro, you can get a sample pack. Um, we're going to be sticking to the dry today, but they do have some canned options if this picks, you know, meets your fancy here. Um, let's go to their dry formula. So the one that we're going to be looking at, um, the, only the only senior one that they have is the dry cat and the duck. It's 86% uh, animal protein um, saying that it has optimal protein content to support um, weight control and easy on the kidney. So they are focusing on things that we have been focusing on. And so they're kind of in line with our, our thought process here. Uh, no artificial co colors. It is made in Austria, omega-3 is omega-6 and veterinary approved. So we're going to apply the PSS system. Um, Starting with, let's start with, um, so actually we, we are not going to necessarily be able to do that uh, PSS system because this is a European brand, so there is not going to be an APTO statement on here. Um, this is not sold in the U.S., so they are not required to do that. So actually we're not going to be able to do the full PSS system on this, but we will um, focus on the uh, guaranteed analysis, typical analysis, as well as the feeding guide. Um, we are not going to focus on grain-free or raw, and, but you know, this food is not raw, so I'm happy about that. Um, and then grain-free and cats is kind of like ee, ee, ee. So um, we're not, we're not going to be too worried on this video about that. We're just going to be focusing on nutrients and feeding guides. So let's go to feeding guide first. Um, this could be in kilograms. So for those of you that are not familiar with kilograms here in the U.S., um, one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. So we're going to be looking right here in this 4 to 5 kilogram mark. Um, they're recommending feeding 40 to 60 grams. So let's see how many calories that is. So 100 grams is 358 kcals. And so we want roughly 100 grams. Is that what they said? 60 grams is what they're recommending. So um, 0.6 of 358, does that add up to somewhere between two and 300? Eight, eight times 0.6. Yeah, 214. So I like that calorie content. I think they're recommending feeding correct, especially for sedentary cats, indoor cats that don't really have a whole lot of energy, energy expenditure. I like to shy in that two to 300 per 10 pound cat or four to five kilogram cat. So I am happy with that. So far, I'm really happy with everything. And because it's been Friday, I know in advance that I'm happy with this food in general. But, um, you know, that that is one of the factors that I looked at. Uh, let's go to the... Let's go ahead and so because we're not going to have the APCO statement, we're not going to be able to see what life stage it is, but they're saying it's for a senior. So we're going to evaluate this today against the senior cat. Um, a lot of cat foods that are appropriate for senior are also going to be appropriate for your regular adult. So feel free to compare it to the regular adult as well. So over here, um, we have the ingredients. So poultry is 54%. 26% of that is dehydrated um, fresh duck. Poultry protein, we've got some hydrolyzed poultry in there, potatoes, sweet potato, plant cellulose, salmon, oil, brewer's yeast, et cetera. Um, but the typical analysis is over here on the right side. Now, it is going to be in minimums and maximums. And so um, ideally, if you're going to be you know, really accurate with it, you do need to convert this to a dry matter basis. But I can tell you by looking at these numbers, um, when we convert, it's not going to be um, that big of a difference. We're still going to be pretty good in the reference range. And they do not include that moisture content on here. So was not able to do the conversion, but this is still going to end up being a really good option. So let's pull up our cat standards. 
So with our senior cats, we know that mineral content is really important. As they've highlighted, protein content is really important. We want moderate protein to low protein and low minerals, you know, always across the board for our feline patients just to prolong the life of the kidneys and reduce the chances of life-threatening urinary blockages and recurrent urinary infections, um, kidney issues, all those things that come with the feline as a species. And so ideally we want for our senior cats protein between 30 and 45% calcium between 0.6 and 1.0, phosphorus between 0.5 and 0.7. Um, and then there's a couple other parameters here um, that are not listed. So the sodium, they're not listing um, fat, lower fat, of course, not as low as um, in the dogs because cats need a lot, a lot of fat. Um, but we're going to keep that fat between 10 and 25%, fiber less than 10%. And then again, we've got some um, chloride listed here that is not going to be listed in their typical analysis. Obviously, you can email them or um, if you're in the EU and you have the ability to call them, you could do that as well. If you would like to um, use these numbers and do your own um, more in-depth analysis. Now, these numbers come from Small Animal Clinical Nutrition. Um, they come from that text because that is a textbook that has all the references and all the research papers that validate these numbers. And so that's available for you if you guys want to check that out in the description box below. So go ahead and click on that link if you would like to um, dive into this a little bit deeper or if you would like to see the references for these numbers. So um, cats love senior cat food. It's coming at a food protein of 29%, which is slightly low, but when we do that dry matter basis conversion, again, it's gonna bring that up. So very close um, to what we want, if not what we want once we do that conversion. Crude fat um, at 10.5%, it's gonna be within the reference range as well. Ash, and um, we've talked about this before, this has to do kind of with the mineral content overall. It's kind of an old school way of determining um, how much minerals are in there. And I'm not gonna get into that. We're not gonna be using ash. We're just gonna bypass that one. Fiber at 4% is less than 10, so we're good there. And then we get into the actual minerals. And this is where um, I think this food is really shining. Um, the calcium at 0.9% is nicely situated in the reference range 0.6 to 1.0. And then the phosphorus um, at 0.85% is slightly high. Again, when we convert to dry matter basis, we be a little bit higher, um, but still in a pretty decent, decent reference range. And so I know a lot of my other videos will go into more analysis of um, the, you know, AFCO statement and things like that. This is not available to us in the um, European um, realm of things, but um, I think still this is a pretty good option if you're in um, Europe and you would like to have an option here. Let's just for fun pull up the adult cat just because we have some extra time since we didn't have too many parameters to go through and see how it would stack up if you were to feed this just to your regular adult. So feeding guides will be the same. Um, not going to be any changes there. So for a regular adult, we have a little bit more leeway with the protein, and so still going to be situated um, pretty close, pretty nice in that in that reference range. Calcium again um, at 0.9 is going to be good. We're going to be a little bit closer to our regular cat on the phosphorus phosphorus level, so um, even better here for your regular adult cat, and not your senior. Um, fat again is going to be nicely situated. Fiber is going to be nicely situated. So we're sitting we're sitting in a really good place here. Um, yeah, so we're sitting in a pretty good, a pretty good place here. So I think that cat's love could be a good option potentially if you guys are in Europe, whoever's watching from Europe, hello, um, cat's love may be a good option for you. Um, if you're feeding this food and you have some additional insights you would like to share with us, please, um, feel free to do that. I hope you enjoyed. I know this was a shorter one, but, um, short, sweet, and to the point. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe and hang out with me again next week for Feline Friday. Bye.